my favorite hockey tournament ever, 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 ever. It always will be. It's near and dear to my heart. It's with my beloved hockey friends who are so important to me. Just before the Pink in the Rink tournament, I had already committed to play and I was so excited. This was the second year we were doing it. And I had to call Heidi and tell her that I couldn't play. And the reason was because I'd been diagnosed. And that was, that was a hard phone call for me. Uh, I was sad not to play. So I went to every game. I was there cheering. I had all my pink and white. I had a, had a, a sign with glitter boobs and everything. It, it was, so it, I, I was there and I got to, to be with everybody. And uh, so, so anyway, they gave me this awesome jersey after the end of the tournament with best wishes and love and support from everybody. And it just, it's so special to me. I wore it to my surgery. I have a picture of myself with my surgeon wearing my special jersey. But pink in the rink is, it's the coolest. It's, the women who play are, you know, from, from teenagers all the way to in their 60s and maybe a little older. So we're on the, on the high end of 60. And it is, it's essentially a huge love fest. But when we're on the ice, that's not what it looks like. It's really fierce on the ice. We all play really hard. And as soon as the whistle blows and it's over and we're going through the handshake line, it turns into an em embrace line and everybody is just just happy to be together and to be, to be playing hockey and to be playing for such an important and really wonderful reason to help the women in our valley who have had breast cancer, who will have breast cancer, because the journeys are big. They really are. And there are so many details, so many moving parts. And Tough Enough to Wear Pink, it just holds all of us up. And, and that's what this tournament's all about. And I, I love it so much. <laughs> Moms and daughters are tough enough to wear pink. <laughs>